Hello everyone. We will start with roller stud. This is millimeter letter Y. Okay. This is just very simple. We will start from this view. We will draw the big diameter here. It just extrude. Okay. 57.15. 57.15. I told for the tolerances you can draw between this limit. This is the maximum. This is the minimum. So I choose one of them. Extrude until 21. 21 okay and then another sketch here another circle in the middle is the diameter 44.45 44.45 okay extrude 25 okay and then you have this cut from the center 21 right and left okay I will go here okay I will draw like any rectangle here and any rectangle here and I will go from this center to this rectangle like 21 from this center to this rectangle 21 okay and the depth of the cut is 32 okay I will cut this and this cut 32 Okay, that's it. We created our part. Start to the sketch here. From the sun, sorry. From the center, we create part. What's the diameter? Twenty-eight point five. Twenty-eight point five. Twenty-eight point five eight. Okay. The extrude. Finish. The extrude for this part from here until here, which is one hundred zero two minus. Okay, I will get it. 102 minus 25 minus 21 okay so this is the total and we have cut here and we have cut from the back we we'll start from the front we we'll draw a sketch we'll draw as i said before any rectangle okay and then we'll give dimension from the top from this tangent to down five okay so we draw here tangent like this and from this tangent to this line 5 okay finish we will cut this rectangle with this value 24 so control A 24 okay we will add sketch here and the center is 12 we draw any circle here the diameter is 8 so 8 and the center is 12 from here to here stop we'll finish we'll extrude cut all it's not mentioned but I will assume that it's cut all the way okay and we have cut from the back which is 16 23 6 okay so ah yes I understand you go to the back start 2d sketch draw a rectangle from the middle like this the total tab on the keyboard the total 32 and the center is 60 and the cut is 6 okay finish you give it a cut cut only 6 okay click on the home here we get the part okay let's make color for this part let's make it blue okay so view realistic add shadow make zoom a little bit and then here is my part for save www just making random save then save it could roller start copy because I need it file new will add dimension and some meter base view okay let's say I want the base view to be I want the base view I'll cancel base view let's say I want the base view to be this one or the base view to be this one and from this one I'll project doesn't matter to be honest okay let's say this one I want Okay, and from here I'll project to it like this. Ah, 
no, it, it, it is metal. I will show you. I will create the base of unit, this one, this one. Okay, and then click here and project it from this one here. Uh -huh, no, I, I want I want to see it similar to this one. So base view. This is how you are going to see from the front. Okay. So yes. Okay. And here we are going to see from the side. And see these two lines, and you have to you can see this cut. If you want to see from the top, this is what you are going to see from the top. In case you need for this part. And for the isometric, click here and right click create. So we get edit view, we get this isometric view. Okay, now for dimensions, it's easy annotation and start adding the dimensions. Okay, we don't have this dimension, we have from here to here 25, 21, from here to here 25, and the total 100, 0, 2. And this is the cut from here to here. Ah, by the way, here we need another view to show the cut, which is this one. Because I want you can say right click edit view and say this one. I want it to be like this without any hidden lines. So it will not make conflict. Okay, and the dip six for the cut. And that's it from here to here. If I forget any dimensions. Please let me know.